Hey friends, here we go. I'm off to Paris. My sweet husband is taking me to the airport right now. Not the airport, I can't talk today. My sweet husband is taking me to the train station and I'm going to meet up with another YouTuber tonight. All is well, I got to Paris and I'm with Laura R. I'll put her channel links down in the info bar below. Right now we're going to test out a restaurant that neither have ever been to. It's called Pupetta and it's right here. In the reviews, they said it was the best pizza in Paris, and we're going to go find out. We're gonna test it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it smells really good in here. <laughs> Start speaking French. It's a pretty mirror. Very pretty. Our meal just got here. It is so beautiful. <laughs> the reviews online said it was gonna be like authentic Italian. It looks authentic, yeah? Good morning friends. Okay, so bad blogger of the year award. I forgot last night to finish the vlog. I didn't actually forget. I thought about it and was like, I'm too tired. We came home. The restaurant was amazing. It was so good. Uh, I don't always like that style of pizza, but that was that was really good. Even like that the crust was just perfectly sweet and salty. Now I had to get ready this morning we're gonna go to the sephora event you do something with my hair because this looks a little disastrous we filmed videos in the hotel room last night a couple like collab videos i think i'm really crooked here okay let me check that i don't know if it's gonna get better it's not getting better but that's fine today we're going to the big sephora um, they're sort of like a release party they do them once a season maybe two or three ils les font trois fois par an les les événements Sephora ou c'est quatre je pense à chaque saison je crois okay maybe every season like four times a year it's only the second time I've been invited but I couldn't go last time so I'm really excited we're thinking we might meet some YouTubers that we haven't met before but there's also a lot of people who like used to go every single time who aren't going this year who are like nah I'm over it I've been to so many events I don't care anymore but I'm really excited I think that sounds fun to see what's coming also there's a Charlotte Tilbury masterclass this morning that is gonna be bomb. That's gonna be really cool. I'm so excited. I'm gonna bring you with me. And we're ready and in a very small <laughs> elevator. I can't get the camera to go back far enough. See, yeah, so elevators are super small. <laughs> always, no, always. You know. All right, out of breath, but we are almost there. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh gosh. Okay, so this is a French influencer event, which means that you cannot film other people, so you'll mostly just see me and Laura and other people who consent to being in the video because in France, if you film people even kind of accidentally against their will and their identity is clearly identifiable, you can get sued. On peut faire procès contre toi si tu utilises l'image de quelqu'un, si tu les filmes contre le vrai. Je pense que tu peux faire quelque chose si tu es tu peux faire quelque chose. Tu n'as pas trop de droits. So you guys will only see us unless other people are cool with it, but. I'm gonna take you inside the Sephora France French influencer event. I hate the word influencer, but it's the only word that kind of combines everybody blogger, YouTuber, vlogger, Instagrammer, mm, all, of, all of those things. You used to be Viner. Are we there yet? Actually, is this it? No, mm -hmm. this is an osteopath. Okay, that's not what we need. <laughs> not today. We don't have time. Maybe we need one though after walking this far. Oh, that's pretty. Moi je vais m'en mettre. On peut tester ou pas, ou c'est juste pour regarder. Non, mais personne n'a touché pour le moment, donc je sais pas trop. Des nouvelles palettes. Ok, so these are the new palettes that are coming out for fall. This is the fall one, yep. The eye primer. Oh, I bet that's gonna be really good. Je vais tester. But it's all new. These are all the things that are coming out. Bonjour, hello. Je vous parle français? Oui. So over here they're explaining all the ingredients that are inside their products and you get to see them in the little bottles They've got a chemist here that's explaining everything. That's pretty sweet and Then we have makeup forever reboot that looks great My first high-end foundation ever was a makeup forever. So this is very cool All right, so there's some stuff. I'm not filming for you today I didn't realize that they have like a little picture up with an X through the camera and there are products that are top secret But that are coming out at the end of the summer beginning of fall, but right now I'm I'm at the Charlotte Tilbury display and it is pretty. Oh my gosh, look at those lipsticks. Okay. Bonjour. Vous voulez trouver des maquillages si vous voulez les filmer? Sorry. Go for it. The makeup artist, she's going to get some on my face. Am I clear there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Next to yeah. you. Oh, it's pillow talk. Yeah, blush. That's what I wanted to try for so long. Exactly. Yeah, hey. Everyone 
loves this one. Yeah, it's like the best seller, everything. Like, every best wanted. <laughs> oh, you're not French? No. Oh, okay. I'm from London. Okay, yeah, look, that's not a French accent at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm American. That's how your trouble is focusing. <laughs> there Hello, we go, puppies. there we go. There we go, now it's good. Yeah, I'll do Thank some you. Clutches, so you can see the color. That's, a, that's one they said it's like everybody's perfect lip color. Like, yeah, that's better. Cute. That's gorgeous. I love the color. Do you want, can you be on the video? Real yeah, sure. Like, she's Hello. from London. Is that cool? <laughs> I thought she said bonjour, and I was like, okay, I'm speaking French, but I can speak in English today, and I'm yeah. excited. <laughs> Ladies, we're not exactly late for the master class, but we are not early. I don't see Charlotte Tilbury yet. So Charlotte Tilbury is coming to Sephora France in September, and I'm so excited. And it's, I've been watching um, YouTube tutorials from different British YouTubers for like three or four years now, and I've always wanted to try the pillow talk. That's on my lips right now, the makeup artist put that on. You can't see really well in the lighting here, but you saw it well earlier. I'm so excited, and this is her master class, so she's going to be doing like makeup tips and teaching us a few things, showing us the products. This is really exciting. This is the part of my job that is like not a job at all. This is just fun. <laughs> so in each of our chairs, we got this little AB lipstick. Do you think it's the pillow talk color? It looks like it's pillow talk, yeah? It's so pretty. And here's our friend Tatiana. She's super cute. And I keep mixing up French and English this whole time I'm filming. Like this is gonna be twice as long as it needs to be. But we are all excited and we are ready for this event. And I will put links in the info bar and all that jazz for people that show up in the video. So don't you worry. You're gonna get to discover some French YouTubers today. <laughs> Mais on l'a lancé aux États-Unis. Elle s'appelle Unleash. Et en fait, c'est pour euh, honorer. Reconsente, lipstick et parapluie. Ah, mais c'est mon voyage, c'est nickel. Hein. Ouais. All right, I am super happy because this is like my favorite highlighter in the world and it's only been in their palette until recently now it's coming out in individual. Yay! It's beautiful. It's their cookie highlighter. So that's very exciting. Okay, one of the best parts about French influencer events is definitely the food. They always have such cute, fancy food. We've got some fruit balls with cheese in them right over here. And what else do we have? Little burgers? Oh, the burgers are gone. Very cute though. Heading back home to Montpellier on the train now. I wanted to show you the goodies I got for kids from Tarte Cosmetics. We got this super cute headband that I'm gonna give to Amelia because I'm not quite the right age. We got some little cards for Isaac. He loves those at the moment. And I found this super cute book that's a little bit like Where's Waldo, except for it's Where Are the Unicorns? And I'm hoping Amelia's old enough for it. Four, I think, is a pretty good age for this type of book to start them out. I don't know, we'll see if she's interested. In a worst case scenario, she can always use it later. Hey friends, it's a few days later and I thought I would just give you a quick little conclusion. Got home fine, train was great, but it was the kind of thing where I was on the run. And whenever I'm alone as like a woman out in public, I do not take out expensive filming equipment when I am in crowded places like train stations and other places where pickpockets might be just because I, I want to keep as low profile as possible. So that's why you didn't get the little film at the ending there. Oh my goodness, this highlighter I'm trying. I have no idea if I blended it right because the light in my bathroom is terrible but I'm very impressed with how it looks in the reflection here. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Okay, it's the Charlotte Tilbury though, the wand. I'll tell you more about it in another video, but I thought it'd be kind of fun, just as a conclusion, to talk about a couple of differences between French and American influencers. I follow a lot of American influencers, but above all, I'm in a few Facebook groups where you get to kind of see behind the scenes, hear people talking about budgets and things like that, and there are quite a few differences between being an American influencer and a French influencer. And the biggest one is definitely how much you get paid for what you do. For people that aren't familiar with the industry, basically we get paid for doing either sponsorships, affiliate links, or through the little ads you see before and after videos. But just those ads, like YouTube, right? You'd be like, oh, okay, it's one platform, so you're probably gonna get same, paid the same no matter where you are in the world making videos with those ads. That is very false. I can see in my analytics 
how much I get paid from each country that's watching me. When an American watches my video, I get paid five times more than when a French person watches my video. And that's because the different advertisers in different countries are willing to pay different amounts to have their ads put up against different videos. I was really surprised and at first I thought maybe it was just like a fluke when I saw that. I have a very small percentage of American viewers on my French channel, but I was so shocked. There were there's a couple of videos where I was making less than a euro per thousand views and I was for the American viewers, however, I was making like seven euros per thousand views and I'm like, oh, that's such a huge difference. There is no magic formula to figure out how much you get paid because it really depends on the month, it depends on the advertisers, sometimes there's political details that go into effect with YouTube and how they manage their ads and then the advertisers get mad and then the creators get mad and then people are willing to pay less or pay more and it's just so up in the air so what I'm telling you now might not be true two months from now. That kind of a deal, it's constantly changing. But I was watching a girl the other day who said on her YouTube video for about a thousand, let's see, what was it? She said for a million views, she gets about 5,000 US dollars, before taxes, of course. In France, for a million views, on average, it really changes every single month, I would get about a thousand euros before taxes. And in France, they take off a heck of a lot of taxes. So if you're watching this and you're from France, um, I'm talking about cotisation et les impôts, like together. So <laughs> because in America, it's, this, it's the same thing. They just call all of the, the money that you give to the government for government services, they call that taxes basically. So the social security and Medicaid and all that things all bubbled into one and that's what I'm referring to here. The money that you make before, the government's like, hey, you owe me too. If you have a micro entreprise, which is my stat status in France, you pay a little bit less than 25%, I think, every single month out of however much you make. So if I were to make a thousand euros, then I'm actually only taking home 750 euros a month, which is not that much. There was one month that I had 2 million views and I was like, this is it. I'm going to go over the 1,000 euro mark for this month and I only got paid I was, I think it was like 600 euros. I was just like, I'm gonna cry. How did I get paid so little for so many views? It was a little disappointing and I'm like, all right. So you definitely, if you do YouTube, whether you're in the States or in France, you should have multiple streams of income. You don't just want income from the ads because that is really hard to make enough money just off of that alone. Affiliate links, I've heard so many stories of people in the States who use affiliate links all the time and that make just loads and loads of money. I personally have used affiliate links and like very rarely, I think on like two or three occasions, I've made more than 25 euros in a month. So definitely, I mean, it's something that helps. I mean, that it's always 25 euros is great. It's better than a kick in the butt, but it's not something you can live off of. And then we have sponsorships. And again, sponsorships, you're paid a lot less in France than you are in the States. And it's kind of badly viewed at the moment that YouTubers make money off of sponsorships. Even advertisers are like, no, like why would I pay you more than 50 euros to make me a, a 10 minute dedicated video for my product? And you're like, yeah, no, nope, sorry, ciao, <laughs> not doing that. That it's something that's, that over the last year, I've noticed the prices have gone up, but it's still not at the same level it is in the states for the same like length of a video, same product placement and everything. And usually when I have international brands that contact me, they offer right off the bat to pay quite a bit more than French brands do. All important things to keep in mind, I know it looks crazy, there's a chair there on my desk, but that's because if I put the chair down when my son's awake, he climbs in the chair and he just like rips everything off my desk and like candles are on the floor and he's digging in things and he's discovering things and I just, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in picking that up, so I just keep the ta chair on the desk when he's home and I put it down when I'm using it. Other than that though, I do love my job because I'm, I'm, I'm my own bus so I get to make my own decisions and it also definitely the number one thing is it allows me to stay home with the kids while they're little. That is great. Hopefully, hopefully once they're both in school and I'm able to do this much more regularly, I'll be able to make like, a, I'll still be able to make a living off of it. That would be great. And I want to keep doing this for years and years and years. I have lots and lots of fun with it. Oh, and if you're watching this for the first time, I do videos on a French channel. So if you're like, this girl has like not even 30,000 subscribers and she's going off about how this is her full-time job. No, this is, this channel is a channel that I neglect. I'm sorry. Hi. Uh, <laughs> 
I'm a very bad channel mom for this one, but I work on my French channel quite a bit and that one is doing much better than this channel. So go check it out if you're interested or if you're learning French or you like French or whatever. And I hope to see you in another video soon. I never know when I post videos on this channel. I always tell myself, I'm gonna do it like every Monday and then guess what? N nothing happens on Monday. So make sure you click the bell and then you'll at least get notified or follow me on Instagram or Twitter because I always let you know when I post new videos on those social networks right away. And with that, I'm gonna send you lots of kisses, let you have a, I don't know what to say. And I hope you're having a great day.